Hello. So I've actually moved around quite a bit. So I have um, some tips I found online that also kind of helped me as well. So it's how to have a stress-free moving experience. Whilst most people argue that moving is stressful, there are ways to ensure you have a much less stressful move than you thought possible. There are lots of ways to reduce the stress of moving so you can enjoy the moment. Look forward to change and know that this move can be a positive, rewarding experience and a chance to start over. So one of the things that this says is give yourself time. Time is not always in your control. Sometimes a move sneaks up on you, forcing you to move last minute and you have to act fast. If you can plan, try to allow yourself at least eight weeks. Um, it's best to plan for 12, especially if you need to hire movers or if you're planning a summer move. Um, so the sooner you know about the move, the better. As I said, sometimes it sneaks up, so this isn't always possible, but it is a lot less stressful when you have more time. Uh, get organized. To stay organized during your move, make a list of all the tasks you need to do, then divide them into weeks, allowing yourself enough days to complete everything that's on the weeks list. If you're unsure where to start, check out an eight-week plan that they have online. Next, clear out the clutter. It's best to tackle this one first. Um, get rid of the clutter. It will help you be and feel more organized. It will also ensure that you begin packing only what you'll need um, and things that you want to take with you. Next, ask for help. Sometimes it's difficult to ask for help. Remember, most people have been through um, uh, at least one move in their lives and understand how hard it can be. Reach out, ask a friend and family, and they can spare a couple hours and help you sort, pack, or move. Say goodbye. A lot of times say goodbye. Throw a party and invite friends out. Um, take an hour or so just to walk through your neighborhood. Treat yourself during a stressful time like a move. You might need to uh, treat yourself when you get, you know, a task done. It's very healthy to do that. If you have children, treat them as well. Plan special evenings out to visit their favorite ice cream shop. Get enough sleep and eat well. These two items are first on the list of items that are ignored, yet they are important. They are the most important factors in keeping you healthy and happy. Um, so make sure you're getting enough sleep and that you're eating a balanced diet. Don't skip meals and try to live on coffee. Although that can be difficult to do. Not to do. Um, go with the flow. Even if you're the most organized mover ever, things will go wrong. Unplanned events will happen. So go with the flow. Also have a backup plan. Now that you don't need um, a backup plan, but you should always have a list of options um, should come up from major pieces for your move fall out of place. Be prepared to feel a little uprooted. You're going to be living in chaos for a while with boxes everywhere and things feeling out of your control. It's normal to be upset when you can't find spatula or the crock pot. So that's it. And just remember to breathe. Bye.